So yeah, let's do these little exercise. Which one is which? So I got this batch reactor, I got this continuous tier tank reactor, I got this plug flow reactor and the pack bed reactor. So just to remind you how are these reactors. I got this pack bed inside this reactor. I got an inlet F of A0. I got an outlet F of A. Now PFR is exactly, well not exactly but it's very similar. F of A0, you have no packaging and you have an outlet. Then you got this continuous your tank, you have inlet, outlet and the batch you just got these molds. So as you can see that's why we use only molds, not flows in batch reactor. Now first thing first, let's go find a batch reactor. You can see the batch reactor will have a time dependent unit. So let's go out and boost and look out for the time one. Yeah, here I can find it. Derivative or differential of time. So this equation will be the one of the batch. Now CSTR, you know it's an algeb algebraic solution. It's it has no, di no differential forms, no integral forms. So I just need to ignore the differentials here and here and I rapidly get this value here. Now uh, PBR, I'm going to jump to PBR as packed bed reactor. You know this depends exactly on the mass of the catalyst. So I'm going to lo look out for these four equations and see that the only one that takes into consideration that mass is this equation here. So yeah, by let's say difference or uh, the only one left is this one. So this is my PFR. And let's actually rearrange it and we have it here very beautifully. My batch reactor is this equation. My continuous tier tank reaction in terms of conversion is this equation. And I got this equation and this equation for my plug flow reactor and pack bed reactors. So I think you should write this down or use it in your formulary because you're going to use them a lot. And if you need more problems, please go to the next section, reactor sizing. Uh, here we will be applying uh, the equations, these equations. And yeah, essentially, or you can also visit my webpage. Hopefully, I'm uploading some videos, uh, solve problem videos, a lot of them. So yeah, you can check it in the course section. Now let's continue with section number two. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.